I'm going to show you how to assemble IKEA select bed frame. Let's do it. You're going to need three parts with this bed frame. So it's a mattress, bed slat, and one big box. The mattress is sold separately. The bed slats you're getting in a price with the bed frame. Good practice, open the box and use the cardboard on the floor while you're assembling so you can prevent against scratches if you have a wooden floor like we have in this case. You get one box with the screws, headboard, this is the taller panel, footboard, that's the shorter panel. You're gonna have two of these, this is the side panel, L-shaped metal rails and second side panel. Manual instructions you're not gonna need if you're gonna follow this video. So this is L-shaped rails, you have two of these and you got another smaller rails. Bag of screws, I like to open them and uh, organize the screws so I know exactly what I'm working with. You're gonna need electric screwdriver, you can do it without, without it uh, for this bed frame but this is gonna make your life much easier. I have the smaller electric screwdriver and this bigger one which is combination with the drill as well. You got a clutch there, you can adjust how hard you wanna go on the screws, two speeds, left and right of course, very useful tools. If you like, you can check it out in the description what I'm using. And here is the footboard, so put it upside down and we're gonna mount those two legs up. Of course, in 2020, we use modern technology here, a hammer instead of the fist. And we place those two legs on a, one on each side. So this prevent the scratches on the floor if you have a wooden floor like in this case and we're gonna do exactly the same with the headboard headboard is the taller panel so we go upside down you see those two legs on the side there is like a cut on one side so that's the bottom part and place those two legs one on each side as i mentioned here we use in the hammer of course Side panels, you're gonna place four wooden plugs, so two on each side, and it's the two holes on the middle. Just place it in, secure it with the hammer. And we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side. Four wooden plugs, two holes on the middle, two plugs on each of the side panel, and secure them in. Now we can open it up and we have two exact same panels. So we're gonna go with the L-shaped rails and we place them right on the holes. There is only one line of holes. Usually on IKEA bed frames, you have two lines of holes so you can adjust the height of the madrats. In this case, there is only one line of holes. So you don't need to think about how high you wanna go with the madrats. Just place the L-shaped rail on the holes and secure it. See the electric screwdriver here, this combination with the drill is excellent here because it's a bit thicker screws, so save your hands, have a clutch, so you're not gonna overrun the screws, so adjust the clutch, depend how hard you wanna go on the screws, and just place it in. Battery lasts forever as well here, which I'm very happy with it, I'm working very often with those two, it's my favorite two tools. So here's second panel, second side panel, exactly the same, L-shaped drill, right on the holes and secure it with the screws. So this is the nut which is going into the holes this way. So you see there is a line in a nut. So that should line up with the front hole. So you're gonna be able to push the screws in. So just place the nut in all the way in. Not this way, not this way just the hole straight lining up with the front hole. The head of the nut should come nice and all the way down. If you twist it left or right, not gonna be able to secure the screw through the headboard or the footboard. Now we have the stopper, that's gonna be screw and small plastic, which is gonna prevent the slats from sliding over the rail. 
just place it together and secure it so the plastic part is sticking out from the top the screw is at the bottom you can do this after you do the bed frame but as we on the same side you can save some time and do all the operation on each side at the same time here exactly the same on the other side we're gonna have those four nuts and those stoppers place those nuts first in the holes you see the line is lining up with the front hole on each of the nut I'm gonna have a bit of problem there I'm gonna show you how to see those two went nicely in and those two of the nuts they kind of lining up with the with the with the panel those are gonna have to be pushed slightly in here stoppers exactly the same as on the other side screw for the plastic plastic is on the top that's the stopper for the bed slats the footboard you have two holes on one side and four holes on the inner side so we're gonna go with the inner side here connecting with the middle panels just lift it up you see the L is in right position the plastic stoppers are on the top so just place those two wooden plugs in the holes on the footboard tap it all in once you're in you can place two long bolts in from outer side through the footboard to the side panel and you gonna feel the grip just shake a little bit it grips all good you can do it with the with this allen key it's provided in the box but in this case you got the electric screwdriver that just speeded up all the process you can do it with the manual one but why if we have electric screwdriver here other side exactly the same place the panel in and secure it with the two long screws through the footboard to the side panel as I mentioned here, you can do all this without the electric screwdriver, just gonna work slightly harder, but it is possible to do it without it. So here, you secure them exactly the same as on the other side. Once you're in the right position, it should go nice and easy, yeah, no force, just nice and easy fix. Here we have four long screws for the other side, that's gonna be the headboard. So we can position the headboard in front of the side panels, place those two screws in as we're gonna mount two sides at the same time. Just place it in, get one screw in the in the grip and then you can do straight away the other side. Go slowly here, don't break the connection on the other side while you're mounting the first one. That's why you go on the other side as soon as you can and secure the screws. You see here this one doesn't want to go in just have to push it slightly this the the nut in it was kind of like lining up with the with the side panel so just slightly push it in and you're gonna be able to come in nicely finish the second one all good on this side and we can do the first side secure both of them right in a place already just push it all the way in first one and the second one we have a bit of problem here as well so just push it in or adjust the line in the nut and secure the bolt with the nut through the headboard to the sideboard all done here now we're gonna have those two smaller rails this just securing the frame in the right position here I'm gonna put the bed frame on the side but you don't need to do that you can do it as it was here just for you to see better what we're doing um, here for the recording I'm gonna put it on the side so you push the small screw in through the rail through the top of the rail and place the rail right on the screw it's a bit fiddly because the screws are small and you're going uh, metal on metal here with the screw so the trick is you just press a bit harder on the screw and press hard against the screw with the rail exactly the same on the top place the screw in place the rail against the screw and push it hard against each other if you have manual screwdriver here you're gonna have a bit hard time here i guess never did it with the, with the manual one so i'm not sure but i've seen comments a lot of people complaining about this system here because more ikea beds have exactly the same system i just place the screw hard against the rail and exactly the same on the top this basically securing the bed in a in a right position that's mean there is 90 degrees on each of the corners of the bed here this is the locking screw on the middle 
so the bed not gonna move anymore left and right now we're gonna put the bed down and we have uh, the bed in the right position that's mean 90 degrees in each corner and we secure those two locking screws bed slats this is the classic Leroy bed slats put the first slat over the stoppers which we did previously and place the bed slats along the bed as I mentioned the bed slats here so I included in the price at least this time and just place the last slot uh, behind the stoppers as well you have two on that side and two on the inner side as well these are four stoppers in each corner prevent the slots from the sliding from the rail as i mentioned the matrats is not included in the price of this bed frame so depend how how you like it softer or harder you can choose the one you like it and uh, get it from ikea the best thing is i think to go to the store check how soft is the mattress sit down on it lay down on it and then when you find the one you like it you can get the mattress you like hope you enjoyed the video guys if yes thumbs up subscribe to the channel as always you will made my day and see you in my next one very very soon thank you for watching have a fantastic day